Bowles. He was just a guy, right? And Maybe he was like neighbor. their neighbor or something, right? But no, he was a judge and my cousin Vinny. Yeah. And we're on. <laughs> I only remember Edward for for a long. Hello. Eddie Furlong. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah uh, Terminator Two. Detroit mm-hmm. Rock City. His his pinnacle. Was that it? Yeah. <laughs> the great movie. Right on. Uh, hey, hello, everybody. Hey, uh, yeah. This is, oh, you're here. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, we're uh, just uh, coffee's just kicking in, just getting started here today. Um, we just filmed viewer takeover, so I mean, I feel like we should be more in the game than we are right now. An hour ago, we didn't have internet, so yeah. So we're 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 really lucky to even be here right now. Uh, so thank you everybody for joining us. This is PSVR Gamescast Live, where we film live every Tuesday afternoon. We bring it to YouTube Live uh, as PSVR Gamescast Live, yeah. and, and then we. But before this, we filmed the pre-recorded part, which we aired tomorrow, <laughs> which really is fucking some time travel confusing shit that we mm. also address. We're not Guess actually what? even tomorrow. here right now. I mean, I'm never no. actually here. <laughs> we were here yesterday. It's kind of like the mark of a sociopath, right? <laughs> I'm like never really here. Ah, that was a good movie. You were never really here. That wasn't the name of the movie. Yeah, I know. It was, it's, but it's, it's something similar. Yeah. It is. Uh, you were I'm, never really here. I'm not really here. I, no, I thought I'm it was here. you were never. You were never really. It's here. the Bob Doan thing, right? Yeah, no, it's a no. Joaquin Phoenix movie. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm still here. No, that's I'm not, I'm that's not the here. mockumentary movie of I, him. I, I really like that. That was a great one. That was right, awesome because I didn't because I didn't realize that was a mockumentary. Ah, a lot of people didn't. I was watching it, and it wasn't until I after after I yeah. saw it maybe once or twice. I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah, but the other one is like you were never really here. Is like a, he's like a cleaner, almost like a hitman cleaner upper type of Who's good he? movie. Joaquin Phoenix. Oh, because we're still. Mm. We have the strangest conversations. Sometimes I don't even know. <laughs> Hello, Detroit Rock City. See, it's a great movie. It is a great movie. It's a great movie. Is he still alive? Who? Edward Eddie Furlong. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, I just figured he'd be one of those. No, I think he's just kind of like serving tables somewhere now. I don't know what he's doing. I, so he he did my life backwards. Okay. Right, like he, he started the PSVR he started, podcast. He started with his dream job. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. And then eventually he just has to be like, "Well, now I got to pay the bills somehow." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so I, I'm like halfway through my life, and I ended up with my dream job, and I yeah. was like, "But I've been waiting right. tables the whole time." Just, okay. <laughs> okay. What are we doing? Talking um, video games, Brian. Is that what we do here? Yes. I don't think that's actually true. Um, I got I got to bring up the chat. So, what do you guys? Uh, what do you guys? What do you guys want to well, talk about? Hello, Lots of hello, hi, Lots hi of, there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Gamertag. Anyway, let's keep it PSVR in here. Uh, <laughs> clearly, gamer tag you haven't been watching recently. Yeah. Uh, oh, Angry Birds launches on PSVR next week. Price mm-hmm. should be fourteen ninety nine. That's from Kev Gret. Hey, Kev. Kev secretly <laughs> PSVR Underground. Kev secretly works for Sony. I knew it all along. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Not so secretly, really. I mean, I think it's <laughs> yeah. PS PSVR next week is going to be interesting, man, because because uh, I mean, there, there's a lot of like announcements that haven't really been announced. A lot of weird stuff going on. So yeah. uh, hopefully, uh, oh, Wilbot's here. Hello. Hey, Wilbot. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Was, Captain yeah. Marvel. No spoilers about Captain Marvel. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I, I definitely want to check that out, though. Although, honestly, I probably won't get to see it in theaters, so I guess spoil away. I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, it's, you know, it's a Marvel movie. Mm. I mean, well, do you watch Marvel movies for, like, the big plot points, or is it more for, like, the, the action? Um, this one I'm, I'm interested in because I, I don't know anything about... Hey, Bloody Bobby's only got eight minutes. So thank you for spending with us. Oh, all right. Bobby, well, you're we gotta miss talk all the about uh, games. All of it. Yeah, where yeah. you get sucked into a DVD video game. Wow. Let's just stay silent for eight minutes. Right. Just Poor Will. Oh, uh, Bobby, I should say. Um, but yeah, no, I, I like. I know the character. I know the basic beats of the Kree Scroll, Scroll War and all that. But I've been deliberately trying to avoid any spoilers about it because I want to see like what they're doing. This is their big, you know. Hey, Marvel saying this is going to be our main character for like the foreseeable future you know so uh, yeah I'm, I'm holding off to see how, how they did that I have heard from from people I trust I've heard very good things yeah it's solid yeah. you know I mean I, I don't know if I've ever rated a Marvel movie higher than an 8 I mean how great can they be and that 8 comes from a oh, lot of visual dude. you know Ragnarok help. come on Ragnarok was awesome yeah Ragnarok Ragnarok just... is, might be my favorite out of all the yeah. Marvel movies but um so I mean even Black Panther everybody was giving it the 10 and like I thought it was a solid seven and a half, like all of the others. Captain I, Marvel, I thought the same. I mean, most of the other Captain America, you name it. I'm, I'm a good solid I think seven and a half. Just about every one of the Marvel movies so far has just fallen to pieces in the third act. Yeah. The first two thirds of Black Panther, I'm like, yes, this is fantastic, and then it turned in. I think we, you know, turned into two cartoon characters fighting each other. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not on board anymore. Yeah, even, but even Enter the Spider Verse, I was like totally on board for the first two thirds. Yeah. And then the yeah. last one, I was like. 
they all get together this just, this just went real goofy yeah, yeah. I, know, I know a lot of people love that mm. aspect of it mm-hmm. but i was like no, that's not what I, that's not what i'm here for yeah you know i, I wanted more of like the the grounded cartoon uh yeah. and man it, it went it went it's like super bad <laughs> super bad started really strong and i thought the last like 30 minutes of super bad i think the last 30 minutes were just improvised <laughs> Uh, so Usually that's the best. So to answer your DLG 27's question, yes. tomorrow. I was We've seen it next week. Okay. <laughs> tune, tune, in, tune in tomorrow for your takeover. We'll, we'll yep. talk all about that shit. Um, holy crap. All right, guys. Thank you for so much for tuning in. Uh, I, I think uh, we need to talk about some housekeeping. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. We need to make sure if you guys want to join our community over on the PlayStation 4, uh, just go to your community tab. It's right there on your home screen. Uh, and just search for PSVR without parole Game Cats. Game Cats is all one word. Uh, join us over there, and, uh, and and everyone will welcome you with a big warm hug. But uh, but the more active community lately seems to be our Discord server. Mm-hmm. Big time. Uh, so under this video, under all of our videos at this point, under all of our new videos, click the Discord link uh, to to. I, I, is it is this how it works? Like JDAO has to accept. Um, so you can send an oh. invite. Um, there's actually like an invite link that right. anyone who is a member now can send. So I don't have my Discord up in front of me, but if one of you find people. who who do so? So for all the people who aren't getting a unique invitation from you, right. they have to go click that link under the video. I believe so. Yes, and then they have to wait for approval. Then they have to get approved. Okay, yeah. Jay approves everybody. Pretty much. Trust me, yeah. I've seen the people that are in our Discord. <laughs> everybody gets approved. Uh, so, uh, so, so join us over there. There's a nonstop conversation going on. Uh, we talk about everything under the sun, from from video games to to cats. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's it's insane. I'll jump on in the morning, and then I'll have a chance to jump on six hours later, and the topic is beyond. There could it'll say. You know, 192 comments since you last logged in. I'm like, I'm gone. I, I don't even know where they <laughs> I are. I scroll now. to the bottom and I'm like, yeah, oh, I, can, I can get in on this. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. Like, I was talking to the man and she's like, I, I can't follow. I was like, you don't have to follow. It's not the kind of thing where you have yeah, to know. It's just you jump hop in the conversation. Jump away. Um, Fred F. mentioned that he got Invisible Hours for only $7 a physical copy at GameStop. That's so nice. awesome. That's awesome for you. Less good for the game. Time but out. awesome for you. Time out. What's Dead Ringer? What's your son's name? Tell, tell us in the chat. We want to give him a shout out, but like we don't want to just be like, Aww. "Hey, Dead Ringer's son." Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, what's your actual name? And right. what? And what's he sick? And with? address and. Right? <laughs> is it is this like is this like a terminal thing? Do we need to like do a Make a Wish Foundation kind of thing? Speaking of which, holy crap! Well, I, I watched it. both parts of Leaving Neverland last oh, night. Oh, you did? I and have not. It's like four hours or three hours something. Right. It is, whoa. Does Ooh, it like, change everything? My only it issue is like makes me so fucking depressed. Like yeah. just sad, man. But this isn't news. Like everyone's asking, like, "Oh my gosh, there's these accusations against Mike." It's like, yeah, they we all knew this. So yeah. you didn't see this. I haven't seen it, that, no. and that's why you're saying this okay. because it's not about that. Yeah. It's, it's not like trying to like prove Michael Jackson's guilt. Okay, it's about it's about the stories of these two boys. Yeah, that like in 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 how it wasn't like everyone goes blame the parents, blame yeah. the parents, blah blah blah, whatever, right? And uh, but but man, it tells the whole story. And like even though you still want to blame the parents, like these, oh. sorry, yeah. they don't need approval. <laughs> Oh, fantastic! Sorry. Just the link, perfect. Then <laughs> that that explains everything. Thank actually. you, Jay. <laughs> yeah, Jay's the best. Um, so 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 it, it tells the whole story. And some you know some people go, "Oh, blame the parents. How could you let your kid stay in Michael Jackson's bed?" This isn't something that happened over a weekend or right. over a, 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 even a, like a, a month period or two month period. This is something that happened like over a seven year period yeah. for one of them. It was like, and it's just like heart wrenching to be like this kid, these kids, childhood. It wasn't it wasn't this thing where it's like this money grab where they're suing Michael Jackson. It was like this. Thing that like affected them their whole life. Oh sure. Oh right? yeah. No, I, I don't mean to be dismissive. I, I yeah. don't. I mean, no. I'm not. I'm but not. But that's, that's the story they're trying to tell. Like, not, yeah. not the other side of it. Right. You know? Well, but I do. Like, I legitimately there is a person uh, who I know on Facebook who is absolutely like, I don't care what they say. I'm never going to believe this stuff. It's like, no. This isn't. This isn't new evidence. This isn't like. This is the, the only reason. Happened when he was alive. <laughs> you know. Right. Uh, well, and and that's you know. The, yeah, it's it's a horrible subject, and yeah. you know, I just I, I I find it a little disingenuous that people are suddenly like, oh, suddenly now we're against Michael Jackson. Suddenly now we can't listen to his music. It's like no, would there have been people saying this for literal decades? I'm really yeah. I'm really good at separating the artist from their from their actions. Mm-hmm. Like I will love Michael Jackson's music forever. Like I will love it. You know, yeah. there's, and I, I fucking love the Cosby Show, mm-hmm. right? I like after, like long after the whole Cosby thing went down, yep. I marathoned the Cosby Show. I didn't yeah. start watching it until then. <laughs> I'm way on board. Oh, uh, so shout out to <laughs> hey, Dead, Dead Ringer. What what an awesome name! So shout out to Dead Ringer Junior, <laughs> cool. who is uh, apparently homesick today. Hey, Dead Ringer yeah. Junior. 
And thank you for your three dollar donation. And yeah, thank you for your three dollar <laughs> donation. Um, man, I, I hope it's not a terminal. I, I hope. I, I hope but it's a, just a terminal donation. No, I hope it's not oh. terminal sickness. No, they don't. This, it's, it's but that's bad. how this whole thing started. Make a Wish Foundation fucking leaving Neverland. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that, it. Was Dead Ringer's fault? No, see, now I would totally go to Joystick I would Guru. Go to Neverland now. Hello, because there's no no threat. Yeah, Thank you like for your donation. And awesome and creepy. Yeah, what is it? Oh, I was thanking Another Joystick one. Guru for his donation. Late as always. Late as always. What if we, we, we were late? Today. We we've only yeah, yeah it's only right on time. I didn't have internet till ten minutes ago. This we're is perfect. Almost starting to talk about games. Maybe. Oh, I don't think that's going to happen today. No, yeah. no, because I, I was actually, you know what, I was going to say, well, I was, there's nothing creepier than empty amusement parks. The only decent part of the Chernobyl VR experience is walking around the, you know, the one spot where you sell the empty amusement. Uh, I love Stalker in yeah. VR. Right, yeah. On that old PC I game, remember, Stalker. Yeah. That's what we wanted Chernobyl to be, right? Well, yeah. It was an amusement park. Was well, it, is that what, is well it like Stalker was... Burnt out it be Yeah. Well, well there, it eventually became kind of like Metro. Right. It's the same author, correct? Or the same universe? Um, I don't know. All I know is stat- uh, uh, Stalker. Then they had Stalker, Shadows of Chernobyl. Why are you snapping at it? It was us? like an expansion. It's more snapping at my brain. And then Metro. And then Metro Last Light. Yeah. I had Metro on PC when it was out. I think oh, you mean Metroid. So good. Metroid would be awesome <laughs> yeah, on Metro- VR. Other M. Anyhow. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was an issue. Yeah, that was a... I didn't... Yeah. Nope. Robert Sullivan. I love the Cosby show. You went to see Bill Cosby when I was a kid. Yep. I think. <laughs> That's what you're missing at the end. I think. I don't know. It's all kind of hazy. <laughs> I, think I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know until recently um, that, that Connor Oberst, uh, Bright Eyes, was accused of like rape and stuff like that. Oh, and the, the, I, the artist there? Yeah. And yeah. I love his music. Like mm. It just, to, to me, Wolfie Smith, the game cub, he says, hi, everyone. Thumbs up. Thank you so much Hello. for your two... Uh, I, I just want to say euro because I'm not because I'm not educated. Uh, two quid donation. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for that. It is goddamn fucking hot in here. It Yay. is hot in here. Wow, what happened? I don't know, man. So the last couple of weeks, oh. like we come in, we're all <laughs> late, Bobby. Oh, oh, that oh Bobby's gone. Right then. <laughs> oh wow, that that really was eight goddamn minutes. It was our. It was it was like the proper representation of our eight goddamn minutes. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was eight yeah. of his for real. Um, yeah, man, I, dude, I can't. I cannot stop watching documentaries. Uh, leaving Neverland was was fascinating, and, yeah. and and like I like it's to the point where it was so heart wrenching that I need to watch it again. Yeah, really? And I was I was like because because but then on top of that I followed it up with um, like Murder Mountain uh, uh, on on Netflix, yeah, which is like you know again just fucking when bad things happen to to, to good people or when or when bad right. things happen in general, yeah. yeah, I need to watch it. Should watch. I really want to watch that. Um, what was it? Uh, Won't you be my neighbor? The one about um, I started watching that. Yeah. It's a well the Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Because I, I started an HBO Go free trial. Okay. And I was like, well, fuck, I'm gonna watch everything over the yeah. next week. Yeah. Yeah. And so I started it, but then I fell asleep. Ah. Yeah. And so just to throw it to Hack BMX here, um, I finally got an Aim Farpoint and Firewall. Good on hey, you. Hey, all right. But I lost my phone. Bummer. Uh, uh, so I don't have Discord to look at multiplayer meetups. No. Uh, you there is a web client, I believe, right for for Discord. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, you don't need a phone. You can uh, just go to uh, uh, Discord.gg. So many people don't have PCs these days. Yeah. Like, yeah. PCs have replaced phones. So like, yeah. I'm betting that's right. probably the case. Well, well that's the only re- reason we still have my like piece of crap laptop because everyone you know hey, so we don't really need it for most stuff. Yeah. Um, but I, I tried playing Magic Arena on it last night. This is why I'm so bitter about it this morning. Did not go well. Howdy from Down Under. Howdy down under. from Down Under. They wouldn't say howdy. They'd sure they would. Good eye. Good eye. Yeah. From Down Under. Yeah, and they talk about like that's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> Boomerangs. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and scary fucking spiders and shit. Yeah. 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 No, there, there, there's parts of Australia that are like the the, the Florida of the Pacific. So yeah, yeah. They're. I don't know what that means. Like really fucking trashy. Yeah, there's there's some scary folks out there. Okay, well, there's yeah. some amazing scary folks, folks too. everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Have you, have yeah. you looked so, outside uh, our window? Have, <laughs> have you seen what these people are looking at? Uh, Those people right they're, in there. They're looking at us. They're looking at us. Okay. Scary people. Hey. You, we're scary. Well, I think we're yeah. I mean, we're we're weird, but we're, I don't think we're scary. It could be frightening <laughs> yeah. to people. Uh, so let's see. We took care of a little bit of housekeeping. Make sure you subscribe to the mm-hmm. channel. Make sure you uh, hit us up on Patreon and hit support us because that's the only thing I'm living off of these days. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, oh, speaking. Of, did you say hi to our, our newest Patreon supporter? 
I, I, I did say hi to Amanda. <laughs> I got a text yesterday like, we're night. supporting Brian now. I was like, we're already supporting Brian. I was, hey, uh, I, thank I, you, the, Amanda. The, mo- the moment I saw it, the moment I saw yeah. it, I checked the email address just to make sure it was her. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it is. And, uh, and, and I immediately sent her a text, and I was yes. like, you know that your husband doesn't get paid. <laughs> right? I was like, he's already supporting yeah. the channel like with time and effort and stuff. No. Uh, watched Scary People. It was a documentary on John Wayne Gacy. Wow. DLG27. I'm on board. I'm <laughs> totally going to watch that shit. John Wayne Gacy was a creepy one. They were all creepy. I love yeah. it. They, then there's like there's a movie about uh, Jeffrey Dahmer that I need to watch. Oh, HBO yeah. HBO is fucking The My Friend me. Jeffrey yeah, I think so, or yeah. something like that. Oh, is, is that, I wanted to see that. Okay, because yeah. there's a comic um, by uh, Durf. Was it Durf Back Durf? I think is his name. Uh, something like that. Uh, but basically, it is My Friend Jeffrey. So is it based on his, his comic? Because he, he, I mean, he knew he knew Jeffrey Dahmer. And that's you know, I've heard of, I, I heard an interview somewhere about this person talking about this movie way back before it came out. So okay. maybe I don't remember yeah. where I heard whoever talking about. That's this. that's a fantastic read. It's, yeah. it's um, I mean, you know, the it's indie comics. The art style might be off putting if you're only used to like Marvel characters. Um, but it's yeah, it's pretty fantastic. So Bogeyman Productions uh, listed one of my favorite documentaries of recent mm. memory, uh, which is Paradise Lost three-part series a three-part uh it, it not, I won't want, it's not even a series it's like three separate documentaries yeah. that ha- that were filmed and and uh and and released almost like seven to ten years apart from each other okay. basically telling the stories of the uh the west memphis three who like the, the oh. three teenage oh, boys yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who killed the kid yeah. oh. or, and and it was like their whole story about how you know how they were accused like wrongfully and then like they were in jail trying to get out and then at the end how they finally got out mm. but like but but man it is like a, a document three Three documentaries that that basically span like thirty years. Of, Jeez, just that's, yeah. wrongfully accused, thirty years in like jail, or some mm, shit like damn. that. This is amazing, uh, amazing who's, documentary series. Who's that filmmaker? I think they is, is worked with Ethan Hawke. They've done like a movie, like kind of following this kid, but basically they filmed the first section yeah. like twenty years ago. Yeah, and they got the same group of actors together to and pretend do it again. Like it, yeah, yeah, it was a document. Oh. I mean, it was a movie, but yeah, they yeah. did the yeah. same idea. God, like, just, yeah, I don't like, remember. Like, that the, came the, out like a year ago. Right? Yeah, yeah. The amount of planning it takes to like, I can't get my act together to put a show together that I know is coming up this weekend. Right. Never mind, like, oh, we're gonna plan out where everyone's going to be ten years from now, fifteen years from now, twenty years from now, so we can have a finished product. That's right. I, I am stand in awe of that. Um. So this is Doc Talk, I guess. What, yeah. What we're doing now. Yeah, I'm not sure oh, exactly Liam. what happened. Yeah. Uh, Liam from Ke- uh, Liam from Kelly. Liam Kelly from Ireland. That's a very much an Irish name. Yo, dudes, found your channel a while back and can't thank you enough oh, for your great you. reviews on VR games. Keep oh, them coming. You're welcome. Liam from <laughs> Ireland. So, honest question, Liam. Uh, as people who live and have grown up in New England their whole lives, is St. Patrick's Day a thing in Ireland? Because it goes nutty here. Like, be, I mean, as far as like celebrating it, people getting plastered and, you know, wearing green bow ties and dyeing their beer green and all that. It's, it's kind of annoying to yeah, see that it's, it's just a constant excuse to like drink. Yeah. So is that is that like a thing in Ireland too, or you guys look at Americans and say you're crazy? No, um, they might do that. All right. Haha, my secret sauce. Oh, boyhood. Boyhood. Yes, that's it. Boyhood. It is Ethan Hawke though, I think, right? It is Ethan yeah. Hawke. Yeah, I like Ethan Hawke way yeah. back from using Explorers. Oh yeah, that's a, that, that's a hell of a movie. That is, yeah, love um, death and robots. I'm I'm ripping that is, apart. Is that worth it? Yeah, talk, oh yeah, talk to me about death and robots because because uh, Reth uh, had, had told us how good it was. Yeah, and, like, I haven't had a chance to check it out. It's totally different episodes because I watched three. Yeah, and, yeah. and like I I watched them and I didn't know if they were intertwined. After the stream last okay. night, I must have belted out another seven of them because oh, wow. they're they're like ten to like fifteen minutes long. The longest oh, one was the last. I stopped last night. There was 18 minutes for this yeah. last one that I was going to watch, and they're just extremely well animated. Mm. I mean, they're anime, I guess, cartoon or or yeah, yeah. you know CGI. I've never watched anime besides Fist of the North Star and Sort of the Berserk That's back it. in like oh, we the get 90s. You educated. Seriously, yeah. the mid 90s. Yeah. That was the last time. Because I, w- I was sitting, um, I fired up Netflix. I had like actual forty five minutes of just, oh, I get to watch what I want, and it was pretty much flipped a coin, like Love and Robots or Umbrella Academy, mm. and Umbrella Academy won. That, um, I was yeah. really, I was really torn. Well, I would say Love, Death, and Robots is kind of basically ten minute episodes, similar to like Black Mirror, if you will. Okay, you know, right. yeah, like yeah. they're all individual and yeah. they're all very sci fi, weird related. Yeah. And uh, in in a unique world, similar to like Mad Max Fury Road, it's like here are these people. This situation's happening in it. Just here's the little bit of the story. Similar to what these are, they yeah. just boom. This is happening. Done. 
Okay. And, and so far, it's really good. Oh, we get an answer from Liam, it looks like. Oh, a lot of St. Patrick's Day. It is, uh, Liam says, St. Patrick's Day is a huge excuse to drink, but it's celebrated crazy here. We would be in pubs anyway, <laughs> anywhere from after 12 p.m. and a continuous stream of alcohol all day. It's brilliant. <laughs> smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. All right, so pretty oh. much the same. It's officially St. Patty's Day today? Uh, I thought it was Sunday. Sunday? I think, I think it was we, this past Sunday. Yeah, we, we survived it. I, I woke up yesterday. I, yeah. I was talking to AJ, and I was like, I don't, I don't even know what day today is. <laughs> like, I, I, this is this is how my weekend is going. Yeah. I didn't sleep Saturday night, and, oh. and I didn't get to sleep until like late Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And then when I woke up, I was like, I woke up to a text from AJ, and I was like, I don't know what day today oh. is. Like, it took me a second. I was like, I hope yeah. there's an episode <laughs> hey, whatever to go up on the channel. I right. hope it's there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Um, but that's been my life for like the last week like the last year but like mostly right. the last like week has been like ridiculously bad yeah well yeah. now that your job like job has been reduced to one day yeah. like yeah. keeping track of your days must be challenging yeah to I mean, say it's, the least. it's only because we have a set schedule for the channel and yeah. because i know i have to go to work on that one day <laughs> yeah. yeah but holy shit dude i don't know what i'm doing anymore uh everything's everything's a little bit crazy i don't leave my apartment sometimes for an entire week <laughs> and uh, according to Dave Station, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, okay, so guys, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about some PlayStation VR Ooh, stuff. Uh, just in time for you, the drunk gamer. He's uh, just, how do we always get on the movies? Because <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 their fault. The well, cats. Here's the thing: like we we put up content seven days a week. Yes. Right, and and like I would say we put up roughly two videos a day. Mm. Of nonstop PSVR stuff, right, games, just breaking games. news yeah. this week, reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. let's plays everything. So at a certain point, you go, "Can we talk about something else?" <laughs> Slightly different. Right. Yeah, I like. No one loves PlayStation VR more than I do. Mm. But but Tuesday is kind of my day to just go. What else? What else? What else yeah. is going on? Talk about all the shit. Right? So like so every so this is just like what we would do if we weren't. Yeah, pretty much. If the camera wasn't on. Yeah. Kind yeah. of glitter box episodes. If you like this, make sure you, <laughs> you will love glitter box yeah. because the glitter boxes are all like this. Yes. All right, condensed. but let's talk about some PlayStation VR stuff. Last week we I'll got. Hold it. Hey. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> so many people are, are in. Last so. week we got this, which is a, uh, a port from Daydream. Uh, it is the Ark Slinger. Uh, I finally get a chance to play it. I'm working on my review now. Um, oh, was I, it worth all the anticipation? I will talk to you more about it when we play. Should we or shouldn't we? Okay. When we put 90 seconds up with the clock, cop, I think how do we attempt to him? The way Jeremy likes it. Funk. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but, but man, it's, uh, it's... Catchphrase. Yeah. I mean, do, does this look like a wave shooter to you? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. yeah. It actually does. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, that's, because if it looks like a wave shooter to you, it's a wave shooter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very accurate trailer. All right. Yeah. Uh, but we'll, I'll, t I'll talk more about it. I do have, um, some insights behind it. Ooh, good. Um, but also, also last week, and, and not everywhere, but everywhere but, I think, North America, we got this game, which is... Which is well. Guess what? I'm doing a review of this as well. It's it's Mini Wood. Oh, that's the, uh, oh right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of morning. requests for that. Uh, it, a lot of requests because it's like thirty. <laughs> I think it's thirty bucks on the. Uh, that's not funny. On the, <laughs> I think it's thirty bucks in Australia. Okay. Um, which means it's probably twenty bucks everywhere else because Australia is crazy. So check for us. Um, no, he he can check the Australian store just like I did. Wow, the uh, frame rate is like three. Well, the that's it's a crazy trailer because the frame rate is actually fine in this game. Huh. But it does look just as bad as you think it does. In fact, it looks even worse than this. It's like, hey, I found wow. this old PC game at a yard sale from 97. Want to yeah. load it up? I So I played it for like an hour. Mm -hmm. And all I did was wander around the whole park, right? Yeah. What is this? Like a, a park of miniatures. Looks anyway, like Anarchy Online when nobody's logged in. And all you do is walk around and you check out miniature versions of like, oh, here's a miniature White House. Oh, here's a miniature this. Here's a miniature that. And you walk around and it's like a pretty huge park with miniatures, but it all looks like a fucking two-year-old did it, right? Yeah. And so I was like, is that all this is? And I, the, the longer I played, the more I was like, oh, that's all this is. It's like and visiting then I, the Big E off-season. And, <laughs> and, and then I checked the trophy list. Yeah. And there's like a platinum trophy. There's all sorts of games you can play, all sorts of experiences, and I was like, there is fucking... I, I walked all around this park and found nothing to do. Mm -hmm. I was hitting the X button, as the game told me to, to interact with things. Yeah. Could not interact with anything. And then, and then I found the trophy list, and I was like, there's a whole lot more to this, and I think there is. Yeah. And so after an hour, I didn't discover any of this shit that you're seeing right now, <laughs> any of these little crappy mini games. Yeah. I didn't play any of them because I couldn't fucking figure it out. Huh. So I'm going to review this game, but I'll tell you right now, so far, it is fucking hot, expensive trash. Ooh, right? <laughs> really? that, that's all I got so far. What's the price? It's Like I said, 30 bucks in Australia. Oh. 
But, oh yeah, the, yes. but but uh, but in the, but that's over overpriced. And I'll tell you right now, even if it's a five dollar game, I cannot recommend this. Ooh, Again, wow. I haven't even seen the shit they're showing in the trailer, yeah. and I still hate every second of it. <laughs> So, so guess what? It's not going to be a very positive review unless something magical happens. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, I will spend enough time with it to make sure that, like, I see everything there is to right. see. But, man, like, I can't imagine this thing being worth anything. Ooh, I'm very, very unhappy with it. Uh, that also, so that came out last week. Um, and then last week in uh, most parts of the world, except for here, and then this week here. For here. Okay. Right? We got a uh, we got we got oh I hate when this happens and that's the wrong one. It looks just like the other game. That, no, that it looks like a Big Daddy. Well, you know okay. what it looks like so fuck it. This this <laughs> is uh, this is Quar. This is not the game I was talking about. Okay. Uh, this we've we've been previewing this on PSVR Theater. Yeah. Um, yeah. For for like two years now. It was supposed to come out almost two years ago. And uh, is this Quar? It used to be called like Gate Third Gate Eighteen or some bullshit oh, yeah. like that. And now Holy it's called shit. Infernal Machine. And uh, and sorry, but sorry about the, uh, the, the 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 framing on this. Um, I don't I don't I don't plan ahead of time anymore. It's, it's a strategy game, and it and it. I mean, God, let's fucking hope it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for a good a good RTS. Yeah, um, I haven't played a good one in so, years. So you want to review this? <laughs> Let me know uh, if it's good. <laughs> sure, why not? Let me just good. stick my head in the middle of it. Yeah, okay. take that bullet for you. Sure. Wow, yep. Wolfie. I think given the choice between handing you a hammer and a nail and a controller, you would play mini wood than to actually nail well, your testicles to the table. Yeah, well, that was Wolfie Smith. I, I, I don't I don't think that was an, that was one of the options. Ouch. I'd rather nail my testicles to the table than play mini wood again. From, from again, Wolfie. he played it once. Yeah. So oh, so, th- so there was something that preceded this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jeremy's really good at this whole comment. Thing. <laughs> Oh, here's a question, and and timely. Vex Ninja, Skyrim or Wipeout? Oh, that. You, how Skyrim. would you compare the the, yeah, the two? It's so different. Yeah, I love Wipeout. I think Wipeout is the best racing game we have on the on the system. Oh, it's amazing. I, I like it yes. better than Dirt Rally. I like it better than. I do like it better than Drive Club? Although I love Drive Club. How about yeah. VR Karts? Dri- <laughs> VR Karts is 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 hot trash. <laughs> Also expensive hot trash. Yeah, um, it's it's it, it has so much potential. VR carts, mm-hmm. it does. It like yeah. it it looks good. Yeah, it, it plays okay. But man, it's like it's like playing the all of Mario Kart on like twenty CC. Yeah, yeah. it's so range. slow. And, and all the weapons are kind of stupid. Yeah, like it feels it feels like yeah. it was almost there. And if they just spent a little more time with mm-hmm. it, it could have been awesome. Yeah, I would have to say like Skyrim versus Wipeout. Skyrim is pretty much the easy choice. But right now, Wipeout is only like ten bucks for. PS Plus members, so hey, big stack yeah. decatsing. What's up, uh, Dion? It's uh, he goes, oh, hey he guys, does have pa- big stacks. He goes, uh, hey, Patreon Dion here. Uh, which he's been this is like fucking OG game cat, yeah, he's been around forever. One of our earlier viewer takeover introductions, but yeah. I don't remember that. Just thought I'd say, uh, when I did my intro, oh, when I did my intro for you guys last year, I had 2,000 subs. Oh, Oh, I now have a hundred and five thousand subs. Is it a hundred five or ten thousand five? Because if it's a hundred five, can we have some? Can we do a, a, a <laughs> viewer takeover for you? Seriously, that was that's that's crazy, that's man! Cool. Congratulations! Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Wow, a hundred and five thousand subs. That's amazing. Like, mm-hmm. I, I want to go to his channel right now. Yeah, and see what's up. Um, Let's go watch his. Obviously, he's more much more interesting than we are. <laughs> obviously. Uh, and then, I, I hopefully I can get the. Oh, what did uh, in the meantime, Liam asked if you guys could have any game ported for VR. We've discussed this before, but why not yep. while he's pulling that up? Sure. What would it be? And again, I'm still going with Metroid Prime, uh, the GameCube, yeah. uh, the whole trilogy, all yep. three of them. Metroid. Oh, so, so we're not doing things that are plausible. <laughs> no, we're doing impossible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Unless he wants possible, but that's me. Impossible. I'm gonna Metroid. Stick, I'm gonna stick with possible. Go for uh, it. And just and just go with my standby, my old standby, which is Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, Half Life. Basically, all all the Steam Half-Life. things. I, I don't think those are. Uh, I don't think we'll be seeing uh, Half Life no. anytime soon either. Portal would be great. Uh, not for PSVR. Yeah, Portal. Uh, I, I, I feel. Port- I, I feel like when Valve decides to release their own headset. Yeah. That's when we'll see Half Life, and then everybody else's headset will be dead on arrival. Yeah. 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 Well, doesn't Valve? Um, are they are they teamed with the Vive, right? Are they? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Well, yeah. Then, well, there you go. Yeah, I think there is because it yeah, is. if you get, when you get the Vive, like you get their starter kit that has like a portal themed game, um, and yeah, so. Hey, Russ. Uh, yeah, those are all. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, 
my my gut still says like I want to see the games that are born in VR. You know, rather than just ported from a so that's that's what makes me most interested. So yeah, I, I don't I don't want to just be I just, I don't want to just contradict you to contradict you. Yeah, but like the fact is is like right now, like we're seeing from like independent studios mm-hmm. VR games that are VR. Yeah, right. But like I, those triple the triple A studios are not just going to like be like hey we're going to make a game and spend tens of millions of dollars on it. Oh sure. You know that's that's strictly VR that's built from the ground up for VR because they're not willing to take that risk because they've got too many investors and too many it's like so like so that's why I'm like fully in support of these ports mm. be, to like show them. Yeah. Yes, we do want VR games from you. Yes, we do. Yeah. We're, we're willing to take if we're willing to take fucking BioShock 1 for the fourth time, <laughs> right? Or Skyrim for the seventh yeah, time. Yeah. You know, then like yes, like you know, keep bringing us VR stuff. It's like the, this is it's it's such a tough situation to be in right now yeah. because like there's not a lot of money in VR games right. so you can't spend the fortune developing a game so porting it over is sort of their only option yeah how about first person sonic the original sonic the first one first person first person how about first person prince of persia sands of times <laughs> oh you throw up uh. can you imagine how awesome that would be though with the and the flips and the spins oh you yeah. throw up though yeah, i'm down all right. Yeah, sign me up. <laughs> With the original Super Hot. Yeah. I, right. I like as good as Super Hot VR is. Yeah. I would love to play the full Super Hot game, the first person shooter. Yeah. In VR, that'd be great. Uh, and then finally, <laughs> somehow we, we keep getting off topic. Uh, this this is the game I'm. Tom meant Middleton. To, hello. This is the game I meant to talk about. When well, how about Par- Tetris? This is a game you meant to talk to. No, this is, it's all right. De- de- you can keep asking for Tetris. Oh, that's, that's fine. I mean, you know, you, you almost gave it a three. Yeah. I think you did give it a three. I did not like it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was awful. Yeah. Well, not awful, but... It's 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 that guy's Will's favorite VR game. I'm sorry. Oh, really? That's, oh. Why, that's why next week, this guy will be that guy's Will. What? Oh. Oh, right alert. You heard it here first. I'm getting fired. All right. Uh, I got my Tuesday afternoons back. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> He's like, maybe I can get a job that'll pay something. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, okay, this so is never going to get paid for anything. I mean, if not not before I get paid. <laughs> oh, no, oh no, I mean not here, just in general. Uh, let's check out the trailer for Cave Digger. Cave Digger. What? 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 Okay, it's working. Right. There it, it is. It seemed like it was going to. That is a really nicely appointed mine. Can I just point it this is. out? It is. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. And it's like structurally, I guess the land all around, everything is sound because they have the buildings and whatnot. Right. They're not worried about I'll digging. How about they're panning through the saloon like there's like something to do here? No, you yep. can't get out of that fucking elevator the entire time. <laughs> like that is it, man. You're in that elevator. But, you man, think I, this is the building at the final level of uh, Cold Iron? It, it very well yeah. may be. Uh, the gameplay is infinitely deeper somehow <laughs> than Cold Iron. Um, I love this game. And, and when I found out that... So it's, it's on PC for 20 bucks, and so I, And so when I saw the European price... I was like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen when this gets to the U.S. Yeah. Is this going to be also $20? Yeah. Because I love this for a $10 game, but for $20, i am like, Jesus, there are so many good games for $20 in the PlayStation right. Store. Um, and, and as long as I got my, uh, as long as the developers weren't lying, this is a $10 game. I also haven't gone to the PlayStation Store. Oh, fuck. Okay. Me. I should probably go to the PlayStation Store real quick here. Yeah. Before the trailer's over. Let's check the new on PlayStation VR seg- section. Oh, it's not there. Uh-oh. Oh, bum, maybe, bum, bum. oh, that's right. This is supposed to come out later this week. No. Later this week. May 10th. That's not That's not later this week. This must be the PC trailer. Someone so, said Prince of Persia. Platinum required to beat that game without with rewinding less than 20 times. Uh, I was able to... My first playthrough of that game back when it was on GameCube. That's what I beat it on. Okay. took me a little less than 10 hours, my first playthrough. Okay. Second time, I think I did like 6 or 7. I ended up playing that game where I was able to beat it from beginning to end in other in under three hours and oh god what was it three hours and 40 I, I used to know it to the minute it was like three hours and 40 something minutes to a whole fucking game destroyed and I don't know if I rewound less than 20 times uh, uh, hey Lewis Knight so, Lewis. so someone asked if we played Code 51 but that actually there we go your good old fashioned arcade cabinet shooters in VR Give me like one disc that has a bunch of them. Your uh, Revolution X, your Area Fifty One, um, what else? I don't know. Uh, Gunblade, you know. House of the Dead. House of the Dead. Yeah, House I know these are the all uh, these are all different vendors and will never happen, but still, it's a that, dream. Like yeah. like arcade cabinet VR collection or something. Max PSVR. <laughs> 
Kid Digger's already out in the UK. Max VR missed the introduction to this yeah. video. <laughs> it's out, it's out everywhere, uh, except yeah. for the US. And that, and that one is coming to the US, which is why I said it's coming out this week yeah. here in the States. A lawnmower man game, yes, but based on the stuff that happens in the movie only. Like the actual... <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't like the Super Nintendo version of the Lawnmower Man? I never played that one. I'll tell I you, it, yeah. it was pretty. It was pretty cool. It wasn't good. Yeah, but it was pretty cool to like do the flying levels. Like, yeah, because it was it was very movie looking for yeah. a Super Nintendo game. Mm -hmm. uh, but then there was like this two D platforming stuff like after every level. Oh, and it was really bad. <laughs> yeah, not, not not a great game unfortunately. Code Fifty One was a oh was Roadie, a man after my own heart here. Oh. The original Deus Ex. Yep. Yeah, for sure. yes, that would be good. Yeah. Because and it's simple enough, and the, the the shading and all that is simple enough. The levels are small enough. Absolutely, they'd want to implement all the newer type of you know stuff from the 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 Deus Ex games into the old original though, and they don't change the balancing. Because you know how you can in the last one you mm -hmm. can do everything, you can yeah. customize so much shit of yourself, augment so much shit of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I run into Vex Ninja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got uh, this game or this game, and they're never even remotely similar. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Monster well, Skyrim. that is Skyrim. There's there's oh, no comparison. Although yeah. in the, I will say on the Discord server, uh, he asked Moss or Astrobot. So at least they're oh, like third person yeah. performance. Um, Monster Skyrim. I'm gonna I have to say Skyrim. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say yeah, Skyrim. That you totally. Just because, yeah. Yeah, but these are like again, these are all like top ten games. Yeah, yeah. You know, games that you should have if you have the money for them. Um, and, uh, and and they've both been on sale enough times. I think Moss is like twenty five percent off right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Which isn't a huge discount, you know, especially when you're looking at games that are forty to seventy percent off. Right. But but man, like definitely uh, time to pick it up if you haven't gotten it yet. Yeah. For sure. Um, Blood and Truth is uh, coming to PSVR. Well, it's been rated in Australia, so it should be coming soon. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, I think we're going to get a few announcements after GDC is over. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to say, um, and, and probably after PAX is over, I think that somebody wants to let the excitement of these shows die down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but look for, look for some announcements early next month. Yeah, I was I was actually started following uh, Justin Roiland on on Instagram and Twitter, and apparently Trover will be playable at GDC, mm -hmm. but not at PAX. Yeah, he's like, oh, we're gonna be there at PAX. I was like, oh, great, we get get to play it. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, well, Vex, you're fun. not annoying. I just like making fun of people. You're not annoying <laughs> at all. We love you all. I swear. No, honestly, it gives us stuff to talk about. So thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, what do you think, Michelle? Is it time to? Start the show the way we begin every show with a little game of should we or shouldn't we? We put 90 seconds up on the clock, the clock put the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. Flump. And uh, it's our turn to tell you whether you should or should not be playing the games that we've been playing. I'm not even giving you a chance to talk about things we've been watching because that's how we started the show for <laughs> yeah, the last we half the first like 45. Yeah, we did. Who wants to go first? And, and thank you again, Jonah, for making this 90 second timer for us. Yes. yes uh, and also for making that cool Astrobot emoji on our Discord. I love the emojis. Oh, yeah. I've never been in the emoji before. It was, it was that, very, that Astro very... Bot specifically was made by him. Oh, oh really? The one with the big eyes. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Cool. Yeah. I'll go first. On your mark. Right. Get Dez. Go. So, yeah. So, I won't oh, yeah. talk about Love, Death, and Robots because we talked about that. <laughs> so, I, I'll, I'll talk about the playthrough of Resident Evil 7 mm. um, last night. I, when I tuned in, you were running around with a knife. Oh, the whole goddamn game. I'm going to be finishing that game. With a knife, there's no doubt. <laughs> okay, I, I've used up all the ammo in the game. <laughs> all the the ammo's gone in that house. Yeah. Like I, I have yet. Well, I found some shotgun shells last night actually, and I did find a canister and I blasted those two thingies, but uh, they didn't die. But yeah, I'm gonna go through the whole damn game with a knife. It seems. Um, and I got the two key cards last night. Actually, I feel like I made some <laughs> progress. Um, but you know, last night no. Actually, a few big scares happen because I, I, I have one earpiece in as I play and the other one is like free so I can hear sounds, which I kept hearing in the apartment last night and scared the <laughs> shit out of me. And um, I had the headset on it a certain way last night where I couldn't see anything. Usually there's a little bit of a gap. I don't know yeah. why last night it just fit on. It looked great where it was, but it locked out everything. And I kept hearing sounds. I'm like, oh no, I, got, <laughs> I couldn't not look. But um, again, another fun great time that could not be uh it would not be the same in vr that's for sure without me right. people say oh this game's a gimmick like i'd saw, yeah. seen a comment about that it's not the game is fucking incredible there's no cheap th scares in it mm -hmm. you know what do you consider cheap scare somebody coming around the corner <laughs> you know I, I think the gimmick is the 2d version yeah like the, right the flat screen the flat screen version the non-vr version of resident evil 7 feels very gimmicky yeah. it doesn't feel like a proper first person shooter it doesn't feel like a proper it doesn't feel very good to me yeah but in vr it feels perfect 
unbelievable. It's almost like it was designed that way. Yeah. yeah. And it can, I can almost guarantee the person who says that has not actually tried it. VR. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, That's and, and it's just like, yeah. And I was, I was one of the skeptics too. It's like, you can't get the experience from a video. Just no, no, no. matter, no matter what. So, and I can't deny the yeah. fact that I want to be done with it because I do want to play <laughs> other games. You know, you, know yeah. you can play other games for the other 23 hours on your Monday <laughs> and the 24 hours from Tuesday to, to well, Sunday. Well, stream-wise, right. I want to stream a new one with people watching too, so it's like something new. And I can't wait to finish this so I know what happens. You better get on the ball, man. And like, so I can play this another. Is, this is going to take a long time the way you're headed. <laughs> I think I need to organize a, 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 a like a fast run. What do they call that? Speed run. Speed run. What do they call those fast runs? Hey, <laughs> Big Stack Decasting, thank you very hey, much. 1 a.m. here. You. I'll love and leave you. Big stack bedtime. Aww. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Very Big much stack. appreciate it. Good yeah. night. <laughs> that was the bed sheets. Anyways, yeah, so did that's it. Did you just tuck him in? I did tuck him in. Aww. All right. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure Dion appreciates that. Oh, he does. Yeah. All right. Well, Jeremy, like I said, yeah, did, um, did you make a, a I didn't watch the whole stream because I was like busy sleeping. And um, <laughs> did uh did did you make some progress? I got the two key cards. So now I can like go into oh, that. Oh, so you can get to Lucas's area if that's what that Ooh, is. Yeah. The, what is my? Where am I percentage wise? About fifty four percent through. I think you're about fifty percent. Oh, yeah. Because Aww. I think there's Lucas. Yeah. Let me get this wrong. I think spoiler there's Lucas. And spoiler and then a spoiler. No, I think just don't Lucas. tell me if there's grandma. I don't want to know no. if it's grandma. That's a whole different story. <laughs> there's Lucas and then there's the the cruise ship. And, and the cruise ship is like the last third of the game. Okay. And I think once you get through Lucas, then it's only the then it's. You'll be at the, the sixty-seven percent mark. I, I think, Cruise? if I remember correctly, they try to flee the country, and I pursue them. <laughs> it's like a whole separate segment. Wow. Um, but it's uh, and it, it's, people consider it the worst part of the game. Yeah. It's like because the, the first two thirds is like almost perfect. Yeah. And then the last third is like this whole separate thing where it's like a little more actiony, a little more. And I've grown to like it. Okay. I'm, I'm on my third playthrough, and I'm actually really enjoying it. And I didn't enjoy it much the first two times. I think my biggest issue is like the the. The environments in the first section are so varied and different, and all yeah. the rooms are different. And the last, it just gets very monotonous as far yeah. as like. Well, so because it's, it's 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 a cruise ship and then the caves, right? Yeah, yeah. And so the so caves are the I think really yeah. monotonous. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and and I think the most difficult section, like you know, there's like some really, really big. I don't want to call them bosses, but they're really big zombies. And yeah. You have to be like, you know, I, I died like ten times trying to figure out how to kill a certain number of them, and uh, and and so I think. But I, but I, but I really go. Oh, okay, if this is like sort of like the the epilogue of Resident Evil Seven, mm. if you, everything after the the Baker Estate, yeah, is like I, I kind of consider everything at the Baker Estate Resident Evil Seven proper, yeah, and everything after that like kind of bonus, mm. right? Because I would have been totally happy paying sixty bucks for just the yeah. Baker Estate, and I'm like, oh, but there's there's a lot more, right? Honestly, I think the developers felt that way too. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> like, we're just out of ideas, guys. But 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 yeah. every Resident Evil game devolves in the same way. Yeah, you always end up in like that that like you know steel factory laboratory right. warehouse something with like a timer mm -hmm. ticking down and fucking and it's always never as good as the first parts were yeah, yeah. it's always less scary and more actiony and stuff so do, do we uh, got gray all right let's let's do gray let's put a lot of gray right. hey big stack thank you again again jeez uh, go to bed i, I guess it's, i guess those hundred and five thousand subscribers are seriously just thrown one. right thank you so much and uh what yeah luck luck nations asked if we've seen undead citadel citadel yet uh we 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 previewed Undead Citadel twice in PSVR oh, this yes, week yeah. over the last couple months. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we, we do a we do a pretty frequent uh, look at, yeah. at that game. It's, it's looking Wait, pretty good. Waiting, so waiting far. to see a waiting to see it for real. So yeah, on PC it's looking great. Uh, Gecko Man Eleven, the game cat County Plus is five ninety nine right now. Do you think it's worth it? Do you like Justin Roiland's humor? If so, yes, absolutely. If not, no. I think it's. I think that's the right price for it. Yeah, I think six bucks because you're. You know, you can play through a couple of times, try to find mm -hmm. all the secrets. Yeah. But if you're not looking to do that, mm -hmm. um, for you know, I would say play through it twice to right. kind of see as much as you can. Uh, and for six bucks, it's a good price. And it is funny. You just yeah. it's it's a very specific type of humor that. Well, and, right. and that's yeah, like Rick and Morty. What what I love about it is you've got the crazy humor of Justin Roiland mixed with like the heart and actual interpersonal stuff that Dan Harmon brings to it. So it's a great combination. This is just the crazy humor without the kind of like the emotional core. Yeah. So if that sounds appealing to you, then good on you. If not, then no. <laughs> but I, I I liked it. I think it's uh, and Friday Night is an amazing price for it. 90 seconds does. Okay. On your mark. Get Jeremy. Go. All right. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait nope, a minute. Nope. What happened? What nope. happened? Fucking goddamn 
Jesus, I don't know how to operate things. Go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, there was a, a thread that kind of went interesting places on Ask Des, but at the end of it, uh, oh crap, was it Mikey or Reth? Uh, I forgot, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, either Mikey or Reth said, you know what, I'm going to go play some Borderlands. Like, you know what, I haven't really spent much time with it since the aim patch came out, and uh, so I did. And I spent uh, a couple hours today and a couple hours uh, on Sunday uh, in there, and I, you know what? You like it better? No. You don't like it better. Well, there's there's just a well, there's two options. So well, the I first I nailed it one of the two. Times. Yeah, you like, you like it the same. Um, <laughs> it's Fuck. yeah, like I would say ninety percent of it is really cool. Um, the first thing I have you have to do though is turn off the crosshairs, because like if you've got the automatic crosshairs on there, yeah. it's, it's just like why am I playing with this? Because I don't even have to look down the gun anymore. I can it's just right kind there. of point uh-huh. and the crosshairs are there. So yeah. I shut the crosshairs off right away. Now you actually have to aim the gun. You have to bring it up to your eyes. Um, my biggest issue, and I, think it's, I know it's a, a tiny little thing, but to fire grenades, now you've got to use the button that's up on the side of the thing. And I, I didn't realize how often I yeah, use like, grenades. It's like R2 yeah. or something. Or yeah, R1. yeah. It's, it's, like, it's a horrible and So location. basically, I've got to take my hand pretty much off the off the controller to hit the grenades. Yeah. Uh, so it's And so what I did, I actually also started a whole new build. I uh, did the siren instead. Uh, I was doing a zero before. And I like I like her character class very much, um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's cool. It does add some, add some immersion to it, but not like I was using the Dual Shock before. I wasn't using the Move Controllers. So. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, um, I I, th- I think it's cool if you already have it and you have the aim, uh, th- then you should. But if it's like I have Borderlands, should I buy the aim just for Borderlands? I'm gonna say no. Shout out to Gunther. Gunther. Who not only supported us on Patreon, but in the last 15 minutes raised his Patreon pledge. Wow. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Gunther. Wow. We appreciate you. Guys. Yeah. Even after all that, we appreciate yes. all the Patreon supporters. Yeah. Um, but we, we have always said if you support us while we're streaming, we'll give you a shout out during the stream. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's my, my should. Um, if you have the aim, give it a try. Like I, I also found it's a little more uncomfortable because you've got to keep the gun up here. So yeah. actually, I have I have arms on my chair, and so I actually had the chair sideways with my right elbow aimed here so I could actually have some support so I could play for long periods of time. Blinken said it, R1 button is on both sides. You can use your pointer finger. Does it? Oh, can you use your pointer finger on that? He's saying it, not me. Oh. I couldn't tell you. I don't I know. I know. Hey, so I use my thumb. Okay, yeah. My finger down here, I use my thumb to do it. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine reaching up on this side to do it. I'm feeling very that, sexual right now. That would be easier for me. But I don't know. I, I just, you know what? Naturally, my right, yeah, I, no, that wouldn't happen. With my How about right remapping? Hand. My left. Yeah. Look at how that, quick I can move that. <laughs> the finger. Poor Mikey. Mikey's not feeling well. Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Come Mikey's snuggle. in the ER right now. Whoa. Oh, what? ER? Yeah. Er. Due to chest pains. Rude. And I'm just listening to my body and playing it safe. Doesn't feel normal yeah, at absolutely. all. Yeah, absolutely. You don't mess around with that. Uh, Grim Cat will tell you that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. In, in update, in case in case you're not... I think last oh. week we told everyone. Yeah. CR 950 just asked. Home and well. <laughs> yeah, Grim, he, he's home doing... He's doing much better. Taking yep. it easy. Less yeah. stress. He needs to, like, you know, elevate. Yeah, so no more Resident Evil. Elevate? Right. Elevate, elevate himself. He's, 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 oh, you just get high? Yes. Well, <laughs> that might help. Yeah. yeah. I don't well, know. it depends what, though. You get well, unless you're one of the portion of people who get panic attacks when you have like me. smoke. Yeah. I, I, so. I remember when smoking pot used to, like, relax me because I, I did that for fucking 15 years straight. Yeah. Vodka and a lot of pot and a lot of drugs. <laughs> and uh, And I used to love it all. Yeah, and now smoking pot makes me fucking panicky. It makes my heart race. Makes me sweat. You must just yeah. go to town at it. You gotta like ease in. Do, 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 one do. hit, like I kid you not, I cannot do smoke. I can't smoke it all anymore. Yeah, yeah. And every and, and people have told me this happens to them all the time, and everyone has said it happens a lot. You have to take a couple years off, and then eventually you can come back and it'll be fine. So every couple of years. I check yeah. it out again, and I go, "Can I smoke pot?" It's not even every couple of years; yeah. it's like every eight months. Yeah. Right? I go, I go, "Oh, is it, can I smoke pot again?" And it, the answer is inevitably always, "No, no. you can't, Brian." No, wow. uh, which which sucks. Vex Ninja got banned on PS4 for like banned from our community, or doesn't sound right. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, there was there was someone uh, I think Soma something on one of Amanda's stream. I accidentally because um, a comment had gotten deleted. I wanted to check out to see it was. Yeah, but. The comments advanced before I, I I saw it, and I accidentally it's like, such a bad system. Yeah, I accidentally kicked him from the chat. Oh, like, oh. I'm like, oh my god! And I and I undid it. Hopefully, right away. So hopefully, Soma, if you're out there, uh, you're back on. What but, Soma Game Cat? 
Uh, yeah. Oh no! So. You, it was uh, no. I I, I turned it back on. Game cat. You all the one. Uh, so I just want to. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. Some game cat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so fault. if if you so seriously if you can't comment um if you're watching this now and you can't comment like why can't I? that's my fault but Wait, I think watching no. this now and you can't comment? no 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 this it was uh, one of Amanda's streams like I think it was last week okay. Wait you yeah. banned people during Amanda's stream what are you doing Well no no so he's like so- I'd be a moderator I'm like sure why not. <laughs> <laughs> and you're fucking banning people. Yeah. How come we have, we lost twenty thousand subscribers? Do I do, do yeah. I need to look make sure he's not like I uh, maybe just in case. Oh my but God. I think I, I un, un, undid it right away. So um yeah. I still just felt bad about that. But so my my question is Vex, like, yeah, what are you banned from? You said you're banned from PSVR. He's banned from PS four, he said. A uh, PS four, sorry. <laughs> yeah, banned from PSVR. Just if does. it's VR, it's his fault. If it's Sony, it's Sony's fault. Rip Soma. Okay, so let's go all quiet there. Yeah, yeah. There, there's some update. There's so many people banned. Is so, it not so alpha- alphabetical? Get... No, of course not alphabetical. Why? 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 Like, what works Can within you sort people? Sort that list. No, those are no. all the bad stray kitties. Yeah, the stray kitties. Yeah, they've yeah. been declawed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, there's there's some there's some obvious like. We don't have to talk about. Them. Yeah. No, no, no. It was just like people who were just kind of spamming their own yeah. like, oh, hey, watch my thing. Hey, watch uh, my thing. Hey, watch my thing. Subscribe to PewDiePie. No, you're you're gone. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you're done there. Um, yeah, because like when you're watching Jeremy, we want you to be talking about you know our content, maybe just just maybe yeah, not like your nice. thing. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, if, yeah. You, if you try to if you try to promote your own channel, like right. it, like and the thing is, it's like there are people there are people we've created relationships with. Yeah, yeah. And, and and people who like you know are part of the chat all the time and everything, and like on occasion they go, oh yeah, no, I played that the other day. I did a review for it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, but that's if you, cool. If yeah. you've never been part of our chat before, if you've never be, don't have that relationship with us, and all you're doing is just stopping in to be like, hey, check out my channel. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay, Ben. Yeah. You know, because that's you're not you're not part of our community, and like you don't right. get that privilege. Haven't earned until, that. Right. Yeah. yeah. And right. there's there's a difference between like, hey, I'm proud of this thing. Could you guys check it out? Yeah. Versus, hey, check out my thing. Hey, check out my thing. Hey, check out my thing. Right. Oh, do this, and you get you know, like, yeah, you, you want to do marketing and ads? Do it on your own time. Spend money like everybody else does to actually buy advertising. Yeah. I um, don't I don't see Soma Game Cat okay. listed here in our hidden users. Yeah, I'm, so hopefully, I'm it's, hopefully like, it's all good. Yeah, I'm like ninety nine percent certain I, I fixed it. Okay. But it's just like at the moment I was like, Oh my god, he probably just got a message that he was banned. Uh, we'll see uh, a Sonic Hey Sonic, take it easy dude. Someone no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> 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 no, Jamie I was like someone one V one me in Fortnite. Like, well, we're busy right now. Yeah. But <laughs> No, that that was he. He posted that on your stream last night, didn't he? Someone one v one me in Fortnite. Oh, I don't know. I uh, Nick I, I was think, saying I, I was going to shout out someone oh, okay. last night before I got banned. Uh, somebody got banned. I saw somebody say, "Hey, can you do a shout out to my son and and or my name?" And it was like a name like this, yeah. and I couldn't. Like I was like, uh, I couldn't even read the name before it, it disappeared. Why he got banned? Because I didn't see him after that. Ask for a shout out. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, yeah. I, I mean, was that person like asking for like a dozen shout outs? Because maybe I, that. Yeah. I, I so I did see the shout out yeah. request, and then I saw that he had gotten blocked. But I but that was, um, I joined the stream too late, so that I only saw the last message that right. got blocked. I couldn't go back any further. Okay. And so I don't know if there were like a hundred requests before right. that. Um, so we 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 got to trust our moderators to like to, to do the right yeah. thing because that's why they're moderators. Before this, I used to have to like moderate the stream, mm-hmm. or one of you guys would have to like watch while I was streaming, yeah. and like we, we basically trust you guys to like to do the right thing. And yeah, um, but you know, <laughs> there's, there's 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 a lot of leeway to every rule, I think. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm up. So, so now everyone's promoting their stuff in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, obviously, we, we couldn't like expect camp counselors couldn't expect anything more or less. Yep. Yeah. Right. All right, on my mark, get, get set, set, go. Uh, so, uh, what are you waving at? I was doing the whole. Oh, doing that? Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm going to talk about Arkslinger a little bit because the Arkslinger oh. is. Uh, stop pointing at the comments. I'm trying what? to fucking talk. What? What do you want? No, it's fine. Go. No, yeah. but by all means. Joystick what? Guru told me who it was that was yeah, doing the shout out. It's a bunch of letters. Yeah, the name is just a random string of characters. Yeah, so okay. there's probably a bot. Okay. Thank you, Joystick. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Right. Thanks for intruding on my time. Yeah. My time down here. Well, he only has a minute left now. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's better than long. He probably Arkslinger. hasn't played <laughs> anything. Oh, no. Yeah, Arslinger is only 45 times longer than the amount of time I have left. <laughs> uh, it's about 40 to 45 minute game. Okay. Blast through it. It's very straightforward wave shooter. I was <laughs> warned beforehand that like uh, I think yeah AJ was telling me you know tell me different things that the game doesn't tell you and like that you know it doesn't the health drops aren't consistent and stuff and I was like so I'm blasting through and I'm like okay I gotta I gotta I gotta play this very carefully. Mm. 
I just shooting everything nonstop the whole time. Yeah. Right. But what it does cool and oh, and I didn't have any issue. I never died once. Right. The game's crazy, the game. crazy easy from beginning to end. What it does, it, it goes, it moves through everything fast. It's like okay, you're in this environment, and then it gives you three waves. But like those three waves aren't even three minutes total. Like okay. I think you're in that environment for like maybe two minutes, and then poof, off to the next one. Oh. Nolan North is the voice of the main character. Yeah. Oh, really? So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but the the story is like almost irrelevant mm-hmm. they try to make you care and you're like oh the game's over just when i was thinking about caring okay um and uh, but but here's the thing the best part about this game is with seven seconds left fuck you joystick guru um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is our our and i'm just gonna ignore the time we're all together yeah mm, can't ignore it if it's buzzing no the best part are the arcs and the arcs are basically like your cooldown power-ups okay, okay. right and you kind of get them like non-stop throughout it's the third time we said okay at the same time <laughs> you're keeping track. Um, it, the, the cool, the cool part about these, about these cooldown power up things is there's so many of them, right? You kind of just get them consistently throughout the game. And right. It's not till you hit a button. Holy fuck! I told you we'd tell, we'd give you a shout out if you did it. Uh, but we got a pretty generous Patreon, new Patreon supporter Ooh. Uh, Ooh. by the name of John Gorman the Third. Thank hey, you John, very thank much, you. sir. We really appreciate your help. Thank um, you. Brian might be able to eat pizza next week. <clears throat> Not is this it, week. Next I week. Say, are you an installment plan? I, I well, you know, <laughs> I, got, I got to keep it limited. Um, okay. <laughs> I was like, like it's no. called dining on a budget. Does ah, fair it's, enough. It's ramen noodles, 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 pizza, ramen noodles, ramen noodles, ramen noodles. Um, so, so here's the thing. A lot so you get carbs in your daily. Yeah, nothing but carbs, man. Yeah. Yeah. People who think carbs are bad for them are fucking crazy. No, carbs Car- are not bad. No, no. carbs are great. Yeah. It's it's the, it's the when you just add fucking sugar to everything. Right. Like when you make pasta, it's not the it's not the spaghetti that's the problem. It's the, all the fucking sugar they put in the no. tomato sauce. Right. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so the the arcs the arcs are so varied and there's so many of them. You can you can you can turn yourself. <laughs> I'm missing out here. Yeah. Um, so you you can make yourself uh, invulnerable to attacks for a short amount of time. You can um, slow down. Slow down time for Yay. a certain time. My favorite these, mechanic. All the environmental things, like mm-hmm. we're, are these assigned to a hot things. button of like the. Yeah, hold the move button and, psh, and swipe. Okay. And, and then it powers up, and then you just use, and then you shoot that instead of your normal gun. Um, and, and there's so many of them. You can like you know send out a decoy. You can you can do send uh, you can shoot ice. You can shoot fire. You can shoot chain lightning. And all of these things are upgradable. Okay. Too. So like they all have three levels. You know, basic, medium, and, and strong. I guess. Um. In in the, you know you. You collect money by like shooting barrels and stuff like that. It feels it feels very much like a '90s light gun shooter. Okay. It feels like a time crisis game, even though it's not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go on, Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys. Wait. No, no, just we keep saying okay and all right okay. at the same time. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's yeah, like cool. me and Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> we never rehearsed. Forming either. a new bond. See. Aww. Aww. All right. Um, so anyway, so that's that's the deal. Is that there's so many so much variety in the terms of like the amount of attacks you can have, mm-hmm. and the cooldowns happen fucking fast. Right, yeah. so it's like so like I use I use one, shoot it out. Use another one, shoot it out. Use another one, shoot it out. And by the time I've shot the third one out, the first one's already available again. Okay. And so, wow, okay. And so that's like if, if you're having trouble with this game, then you're not using your cooldowns properly. Yeah. Probably. Um. And uh. And, and it's and it's, so it really varies up the gameplay. But you don't really have time to play with it because it's only forty minutes long. Hmm. And at the end of the game, this is the best part of it. They go choose one of your arcs to carry on forever like you get to pick one ah, yeah. and so you don't have to find it again or level it up again and then it goes into your like collection forever and Done. so i played through the game again and i'm like oh it's the exact same the game but now i've got this one already powered up and ready to go right all right and so every time you play through the game you get to add another one to that oh, so you do get to add another you do every single time nice but the game isn't any different so the right, fact so that I, I wanted to play through it like a hundred times to get all of them yeah but man after the fourth time i was so bored of the actual game yeah. that now i have four power-ups in my collection and i just don't want to play anymore you- and there's a gold trophy not a platinum just a gold trophy <laughs> for getting them all into your collection Ooh. oh yeah mikey's being called into the, the uh... good luck okay. mikey let us know if you're all right yeah, good luck. Yeah, definitely keep us posted, man. Yes. So, so you think it's because it was meant to be a like mobile VR game? That's why it's so short. Because you know they want people sitting there on their cardboard for six hours. The the fact is is there's there's so many things to do in the level once you're in there. Mm. Not so many things to do, but like you know with the various attacks and then like all the bottles you can shoot and all the barrels you can blow up and and like that all gets you money. <clears throat> that it feels again, it feels like more of a light gun shooter than yeah. a wave shooter. Right, so oh, it I just see. has like that okay. extra step of yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna shoot stuff and, and, and you know benefit from it. 
Uh, and then the stuff that carries over helps. Yeah, it's probably because it was a daydream game. Yeah. Thank you very, very much to Duncan Finlayson. Finlayson. Thank you very much. Uh, ten quid. Ten quid. Quinn, PS- baby. Quinn. PSPR Quinn. rocks. Quinn. Very straight to the point, man. And very it does. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for your generous you donation. Correct. You don't uh, want it to rock too much, like my camera keeps doing. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta calibrate that when I get a chance. So, so basically, with the, to put a cap on this arc slinger conversation that I've yep. been having by myself mm-hmm. and getting well, interrupted by you guys constantly, okay. um, is a, is it's a lot of fun, yeah. and you're probably you're probably only gonna play through it a couple of times. It's like you're not you, you're not gonna spend the amount of time with this game. Price right. point. It's ten bucks. Oh, it's not bad though. It's not bad. Yeah. But like, man, like I, I wish there were twice as many levels. Because in the end, the boss is so easy. Yeah, yeah. It's like not even, not even an issue. Is it no matter what, only going to take you forty minutes, or can you like speed this up? The more equipment you have, the arcs you carry over to the next playthrough, you can rip through this game even quicker and quicker and quicker. Well, only because I skipped the cutscenes. But no, you can't really beat it any all faster. Right. All the enemies are pretty quick to destroy, and it's all, all a right. preset like <laughs> cutscene type of thing. All all right. Right. So I just skip all the cutscenes, and I think skipping all the cutscenes, you can probably last through each time in about 30 minutes instead of 40. Is there leaderboards or anything like that? I don't think so. No leaderboards. that would be something, speeding no, it up? There, there are no leaderboards. Okay. Uh, and in fact, the only other mode is a practice mode that takes place on the menu screen, where people, where these bad oh. guys come out of like the, the Okay, that's kind of cute. Yeah, and, but then it's hmm. boring. Yeah. There's just not a lot to do. And, and so the fact is, is I love this game for a few reasons. Mm-hmm. But I, I, but I still can't recommend it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So no, shouldn't we? Unfortunately. So where's so, your recommended price point? If it was like on sale for like five dollars, five or six bucks, yeah. yeah. Like I mean, I know that's not a huge difference, but, but like, it will be there someday. Then, hey, right? Yeah. If I mean, we could take each game separately. Yeah. So Nick Milo um, has one of my favorite factoids there. One hundred percent of people exposed to dihydrogen monoxide will die. That is absolutely true. It is responsible for more deaths than just about any, uh, uh, almost anything for young children. Uh, it is a main component in Zyklon B, one of the things they used in the um, the gas chambers. Uh, yeah, it's a terrible, terrible chemical. Did I miss where this conversation started? Uh, or did you just it, throw that out randomly? Well, it's also water, dihydrogen monoxide. So that's one of those, you know memes that gets out there to show people like don't be scared of stuff just because it has big you cook names. your ramen in it right exactly day. and one of my favorite though the reason i, I, I the ramen dry <laughs> um boiling like, water costs money like candy yeah. bar <laughs> <laughs> but it, it does yeah it, it does one of my favorite water bottles i saw a friend who was a chem major had like the stainless steel just looks like this badass like the, the top of it wasn't plastic it looked like a lug nut and it said caution contains dihydrogen monoxide and lists all like the potential dangers it was, yeah fantastic but anyways, good joke. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome. There was a... Regem, 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 regum. Regem, regum, yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. First time being here, I just recently got the PSVR. Welcome to the family. Yes. And must say your channel has helped me out look for things to find and play. Thank you. Yeah, definitely... Um, hit up the the sale right now we talk about it tomorrow on viewer takeover there's a bunch of must-buy titles that you're going to get on a great deal mm. in the next couple days all right. how long does it run do we yeah until uh, uh, monday so, uh, so like okay like only f- less than a week yeah right. not so, long so get on it but the, uh, there are some fantastic deals right now don't tell your mom about us she'll be upset because you're not outside looking for things to do and play you're at a store spending money so you can go home <laughs> and play a video game yeah. Oh, yeah. So someone was asking, they were having some weird tracking issues with like the headset moving back and forth. And they're asking about um, uh, if it was on sleep mode. Just if you're having tracking issues, one thing we've found, just totally do a, a full power down in your system. Not just rest mode, not just, you know. And while it's powered down, yeah. Like if you've never done this before, like actually unplug it from, uh, unplug the AC adapter. Like once it's totally powered off, unplug the AC adapter from the back, mm-hmm. uh, un- unplug the uh, the breakout box from, from its power. Yeah. Like it can give everything like a full clean refresh. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the very first thing you should always do mm-hmm. if you're having tracking issues, especially what Jeremy was having last night yeah. in his Resident Evil stream. He was having like the world wobble, which is like something that yeah. I experienced because I put my console into rest mode over and over and over again. It never happened before until last week and the week prior. Try unplugging yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, I did not unplug the actual headset from the wall. I, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I've done it before and it has mm-hmm. yeah. dramatically fixed things. So that could yeah. be coincidental or sure. Like, oh, yeah. I don't know. But we'll, uh, 
We'll see. I will see during the Borderlands thing, I, I did mention that for my minute and a half, I was getting some of that aim drift, you know, where like yes. the, the head stays here, but the gun itself starts to... Yeah. I was getting a little bit of that, so there was a lot of shaking the gun in between shots, yeah. which isn't great when you're trying to do like a sniper shot. So, no. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, and there's a lot of like, people have people have a million techniques for like different ways to like prevent drift, and, uh, and, and I think a few of them maybe work. I mm -hmm. know that people say like, leave your headset, don't put your headset on when you turn it off, like leave it like sitting on your couch, facing the, facing the camera. Oh, and like like let the like the like all, let all it the shut internal down. mechanism stuff let it warm up. Oh, like give it a couple minutes before you even like move it. So like let it stabilize. Oh, like so if you're having issues and like like if you're having issues beyond like the rest mode thing, like just just do that. You know, and, and same with the aim controller. Like just like fucking leave everything in a place for a couple minutes before you even touch it. Let it all warm up and then and then try to play your game. Yeah, there's, there's a mazillion suggestions out there. Um, mazillion, but of course that's a big you, number. But of course, one of the you know the mo a lot of the important things are check your room, make sure you, make sure you're not getting yeah. reflections off windows, reflections off of you know any. Um, make sure nobody's under your bed. Ugh. What? When you're playing the games, uh, putting the headset on, make sure nobody's under your bed. I think that's general life it. advice. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't have. I, I would never be able to go to bed then. Yeah, knowing that. Well, I, I like the grandmother's bedroom in Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, she's got a whole goddamn like like underground railroad travel way <laughs> under there. It's creepy, and she rests. Uh, well, I don't think damn. she actually gets into that bed. I don't think she does. I think either. she just does the whole wheelchair thing. I don't think she's ever been out of that. Yeah, yeah. Weird. I'll find out. I hope. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. Um. Uh. Kill X got delayed in Mortal Legacy, the Jade Cipher. Okay. It's delayed till next month. It's complete. 100% yeah. right. complete. Uh, the developer said that the publisher is uh, pushing it uh, ahead of month for. Uh, okay, so this for, is. For global strategic reasons. All right, so this is the publisher, not the Sony certification. Apparently. Talking on us again. Yeah, okay. That's what they're saying. They're saying the publisher is pushing it forward. Um, in, 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 in my, my original script for PSVR this week, mm. yeah. I was fucking real snarky about it because I hadn't slept yeah. in a while and I, and I said that my uh, I said there's nothing nothing more globally strategic than pushing yeah. it out of a day where there's nothing else being released for PlayStation VR right, yeah. right? it's like we, we would have all eaten this fucking game up today yeah, right? yeah. And, but, but no delay till what I think the 27th of next month okay right? and I wonder if stuff comes out around then that's I'm, gonna make it I'm fucking sure right yeah. like things that we don't even know about yet yeah yeah it's crazy yeah um, <clears throat> so that so that happened you guys liking the Beat Saber DLC uh, epic is epic. Was that last week? Uh, that was last week. Yeah, so we haven't talked to. So we've had a full week to, to play it. Yep, um, playing the crap out of it. I've, I've kind of been working my way through. Just like I try to get on leaderboard for easy, you know, uh, normal and hard. Mm -hmm. And man, I don't, I don't know. Was the jump from hard to expert as tough in the first set, set of songs? Because it seems like there is a huge gap. I think yeah, yeah, I feel like there's always been a huge gap. Yeah, but it's I think it's even worse here. I'm watching I'm watching fucking AJ played on the live stream and he's killing Dude, it. Yeah. Goes, it's yeah. his first impression live stream of the DLC that he hasn't played yet. Yep. Yeah. He goes right to expert. He kills it. Blah. Yeah. Like he, he doesn't he doesn't fail a single one. What? Yeah. And he doesn't fail a single oh, no, he's, one until he goes to expert plus. Yeah. Yeah. And he does pretty fucking good for never yeah. having played it God before. Damn it. Cuz uh, I, yeah. I was I was toying with the idea. I was like, "Oh, maybe maybe I'll stream it, you know, cuz I like it, and when I get some content out there, then I see his stream pop up, and he's playing it on expert first way. I was like, "Oh, I have no right to stream this." Absolutely. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, because Amanda had questioned whether she should be playing it. And yeah. I'm like, there's there's a Amanda has a very specific audience. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda, if you don't know, like every Thursday night at nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. Thank you. Eastern, Eastern daylight time. Yeah. Mm. Eastern daylight, which I learned last week is different than Eastern <laughs> day. Um, I learned something new every week. Like remember the week that I learned that my Laptop touch touch was a touch screen. That was touch awesome. I moved a window. I was like, that, "That's magical." Yeah. That may be one of my favorite moments of all time. <laughs> right? I'm glad it's captured on film forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, so were they. That, that sirens on our end. I really, yep. sirens are killing me. And they're really uh, messing with us too. So, uh, but yeah, Amanda has a very specific audience. If you don't know what she does, she doesn't. She's not playing a game. <laughs> she swears. She swears a lot. Yeah. <laughs> which is our favorite part of the very uh, glad. The show. The, uh, the best part is that uh, she's a gamer. That's never been, never played video games really. Mm. She's uh, a YouTuber who's never been a YouTuber. Yep. And so it's sort of like her first time doing 
anything. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, she doesn't, like, you know, like, she learns the controls, and it's so, like, like, Beat Saber, if she plays Beat Saber, it's not going to be like, here's how to play Beat Saber. She played Dead Hungry, and it certainly wasn't, here's how to play Dead Hungry. It's oh. like, hey, here's the first time we're experiencing yeah. this game for the first time, so it's very specific. Yep. Although, I, ha- I have to say, with Dead Hungry specifically, like, I saw her kind of, you know, playing her way through that, and she got to the first boss, and, you know, almost got to the end. I'm like, okay, full s- so, honestly, you know, I, I did a little of the arrogance thing. It's like, all right, she doesn't know how to play this, you know. She went upstairs, you know, to get to get ready for bed. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just, I'll fire up that level. Holy fuck, it's hard. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Was, like, I, I didn't even shocked. make it halfway through. I was shocked when you guys told me that that's the game she was gonna play that week. Yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. I, I didn't even make it halfway through that. I'm like, oh wow, oh man, it was way better at this than I thought. And so I definitely had my my, my gamer arrogance knock down quite a few steps. She's um, fun to play with me and her and and Mikey and you know. The kid, ah, the other folks, the other yeah, chaotic really, yeah, something yeah. or other. God damn it, Nick, <laughs> Nick Mueller, the game cat, gives, gives us twenty dollar dip and says, uh, "Doors are like his water." He quotes Jeremy <laughs> from, from the stream last night. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> because because you were being you were being in you were in the the, the, the parlor or the lobby right of the uh, of the Baker Estate. Yeah, yeah. And there was a molded following you around, and you go yeah. up the stairs and you're like, and you're like, "Is he gonna follow me? I don't think he's gonna follow me." You look back, you're like, "Fuck, he's following me." <laughs> And uh, but, but but you can't go through doors. No. And so your quote was, "Doors are like his water." <laughs> what the fuck did that mean? That's gonna be a t-shirt. I <laughs> right? I was thinking Bruce Willis's character from Unbreakable, where water oh was God. his weakness. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that is about as obscure as it gets. Well, I, yeah. I think we've just covered in VR, doors are everyone's weakness, especially the players. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there's been very few. I, I, that's why I actually like you know in, in Resident Evil Seven I don't mind the DualShock controller. Yeah. Because the last thing I want to be doing is fumbling with opening a door <laughs> oh, when there's something chasing me. Unbelievable. Yeah. 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 Uh, we, and we haven't like we, I know we had developers three, who watch the stream. And yes, who, who, I'm sorry. I keep it, it's there's so many E's and A's <laughs> and R's and it just <laughs> blows my mind. It's, he couldn't remember the, his name. Yeah. Cloak Cr three, but, uh, 95 yeah. games. Well, I think uh, Amanda and I had the problem with that too. Of one of our streams, we we're like, oh, it's, oh, it's close. I had to go on the. Discord. So, yeah, sorry, Cloaked. I'm sorry, Cloaked. Kevgra, yeah, Signs. Water was their weakness, too, as he said. Yeah. Signs was, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I, I don't Another actually, but, Joaquin Phoenix movie. I haven't seen Unbreakable since it first came out on DVD. Okay. So I kind of don't remember. Digital like Versatile Disc? No, that's the Universal Video Disc. The UM, UMDs. UMDs. Yeah. Universal Media no, Disc. D- that's what DVD D- Digital Versatile Disc. It's really not Digital Video Disc? Nope. Because you can do other stuff other than video. It's versatile. You can have many kinds of information on it. I didn't know that. Yeah, most yep. people don't. Okay, well, I'm like most people then. Yeah, yep. I'm. Uh, um, yeah, but that's what I was thinking of when you said when you said it's his water. I was actually thinking of signs, and then like, you're like unbreakable. It's like wow, that's fucking really obscure. Yeah, <laughs> although signs, not not M Night Shyamalan's uh, shining. No. no, but it was. That was him, though, right? I'm. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for him, unbreakable, and then I one for the, his best. Well, no, six cents. I think unbreakable. Six cents is then signs. I think the visit might be my favorite. I didn't see the visit yet. That's why it's not in your top three. That's true. That's the one with the grandparents. I haven't seen anything since. And I actually, yeah. I really like Devil as well. The one with everybody stuck on the elevator. I really like that one. I thought I saw that and was like, meh. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Everyone Lady goes, in the eh. Water was whatever. Lady in the Water was fucking trash. Yeah, <laughs> it was, so was the Village. Yeah, the Village was the last one. I, I was like, you know what? I think I think we're done. In the first five minutes. Mm-hmm. I knew the twist and didn't think it was a twist. I just thought everyone right, yeah. understood. Oh, that's that just that the was, exposition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then, they, then they were like, "This is the twist," and I was like, "Wait, what? Oh, we didn't yeah. know that." Yeah, right. Yeah, without spoiling anything, the village is bad. The village is yeah, very bad. The water. I remember. I I don't. I don't think I've seen it since Paul Giamatti. I know, but yeah. I don't think. I don't think I've seen it since I saw it in the theater. Yeah, me neither. And so I think I might have hated it because I was expecting it to be scary. Yeah. I need to go back and watch that again before I call it trash again. Okay. Although Not in my head, it's definitely yeah. trash. Yeah, I'll I don't. Watch it Life is too short. Yeah. It's <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I love movies, though. Yeah, no, I haven't I, seen I, Glass I either. The Visit was Seriously. really, really good. Yes, Reth. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they said. It was, I mean, it was, it was like back to like Sixth Sense quality. Sixth Sense oh, quality. Right. Yeah. I love Stir of Echoes. That was like the the Happy Mail version of Sixth Sense. Stir of Echoes was great. I loved it. Yeah. I watched Kevin that Bacon, thing. Right? Yeah, I Ooh. watched it so many times. Oh, yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, I forget okay. the mother's name, his wife in it, but she was the daughter, right, from What About Bob? And we're right back where we started. And I remember you get to see a bum in, in, in uh, <laughs> All we do is talk about Sixth movies. Sense. And it was a nice yeah. bum. Yep, we do. Yep. All I do are bits, bits, okay. bits. 
Well, I think that about does it, right? I think, I think so. so. All right, guys. Uh, obviously, we could we could sit here all day and, and, and talk to you guys in the, in the chat, um, but, but we have things to do. Doesn't I have to film a Why We Love episode tonight? Mm-hmm. Are we doing that? Oh, sure. Why not? Eh, don't worry. Uh, I don't have any plans. It won't, t- it won't take you long to play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I play the crap out of that game. Yeah, well, I got to play the crap yeah. out of it between now and the next time I see you, right, which we'll is like going. just a few hours from now. <laughs> uh, and then uh, and I got to edit tomorrow's viewer takeover, and I got to finish my Arc Slinger review. Ah. And AJ is uploading a gigantic video currently, right now, really ooh, to our YouTube channel. Yay. Nice. Uh, it, it, and it is basically, even though he's done like the 3D Rudder review, and he did the uh, Vertigo Home review, this is going to be AJ's like. This is the first. This is the reason we brought AJ on. Okay. Is because because he's our tips guy. He's our walkthrough guy. He's our. He's actually good guy. at playing games. He's actually yeah. good at playing games and showing you how to play them. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so hopefully later today or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. When, it's it's a fucking gigantic upload. Cool. Uh, it is it is uh, AJ's first. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it his first official contribution. Like because it's, other things are like just things like I was like hey why, why don't we do this while that thing gets yeah, done. Yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna be very excited to see uh, that we are expanding. Uh, the content of the channel rapidly. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So maybe you can give me some Beat Saber pointers because I don't know why I'm failing. But all right. And yes, happy death day was well, good. Why I can't? Box. Why am I? Really? <laughs> Actually, you know, a lot of it is I finish like this action here, and then also the like the red accidentally hits one of the blues because I haven't cleared that out of the way. Uh, I got you. Because I'm like, wow, how did I miss that? Oh, I didn't miss anything. I just hit it. Yeah. I fail because I have no rhythm. <laughs> My is simple. Are you playing with headphones or not? No. I, that makes I, a big difference. I have no. Have I? Because I usually do. Yeah. But I, did, I didn't for Beat Saber, yeah. no. No one, uh, I didn't, I forget who pointed this out to me, but there is, if you listen to the speakers on your TV, which totally doesn't make sense, there's a delay. Slight delay. The headphones, it's right on. So, and it doesn't really matter for the like the lower levels, but once you start getting expert and hard, there's enough of a delay where it really can screw up your rhythm. Huh. AJ says it's 47 gig upload. Wow, that's Woo. like almost GTA 5. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. wow. Yeah, Nick- so is he uploading just the entire game? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Okay. actually. All right. Yeah. That wow. we can and, play. And, and how to play it. Okay. Yeah. I um I am the most non-rhythmic Just get good. Drummer. Thanks, Nick. Like, I can't play rhythm games. Even though I play drums, well, I haven't played drums in a while. But rhythm games have always been something that I couldn't do because it's so rigid. Where it's Simon says, it's like I gotta do this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where naturally, I just kind of want to be like, hey, but do, you know what I mean? To do something. Yeah. yeah. I so mean, I, I struggle. I, I think I think I struggle too. Like you know, like I've played in bands like my whole life. Yeah. Um, but I have no problem with that. Yeah. yeah. You know? But but these things are yeah. It's, it's very it's it's other people's music. I think is the problem. Mm. Right? Yeah. And so and so I haven't had the time to spend with Beat Saber like I would have liked. I know some people are like it, it's so funny in the comments when people yeah. are like experts really easy. I'm like well yeah because you played like 30 <laughs> yeah. hours of Beat Saber. Yeah. Like I'm sure yeah. expert wasn't easy during your first 10 hours. Yeah. I mean if it was fucking congratulations. Well apparently it is for God Cannon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but but he has spent the time yeah, to get to that level that's where true. like even new songs, he experts like his, yeah. you know, his primary jam. Um, so anyway, all right, guys, thank all you, right. S- thank you guys so much. Uh, optical audio connection. Thanks for the tips. Day one, four twenty. And Sierra ninety five. Uh, no, someone did tell me, and I I did I used that information and passed it on to, to to you folks. I I wish I could give credit though. Thanks, cloaked yeah. reaper. <laughs> Jeremy will never forget you again. <laughs> no, that's not true. No. Yeah, it's... He's going to forget you every single week, but then he will yeah. remember every single week. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much <laughs> for hanging said. out with us. Um, and thanks to the new Patreon subscribers yeah. during the stream. Yeah. Awesome. During the stream. That's and, amazing. And thank you to all the old Patreon supporters that still support us after yes. shows like this. Absolutely. <laughs> right? uh, and especially after I, I finally got the, uh, the the Litterbox episode about um, our conspiracy theories and about the Flat Earthers and stuff. Oh, from like six months ago? No, like two weeks ago. I know. But I, I finally know. got that up last night. Okay. Uh, and uh, I love the response last to it. Last night. People like talking about Hollow Earth and the Nazis oh, yeah. and stuff. <laughs> Fucking love you guys. All right, that's it uh, for another episode of PSVR Games Cast Live. I'm Brian, that's Des, and that's Jeremy, and we'll see you tomorrow for Viewer Takeover. Bye, guys. Love you all.